Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to plot a simple matrix in R. Now the data that I'm going to use in this uh, example video is the iris data set. So let's remind ourselves using the head function as to what the first six lines in the iris data set look like. So just typing the head function with iris in, in, in brackets and clicking on the run button. And we can see in the console that there are five variables, sepal length and width, petal length and width, and species uh, in the data set. And that there are, 100, there are 150 50 records in this data set, as we may know. So what I want to do then is I want to plot each variable against each, uh, each of the other variables. So in other words, I want to plot sepal length against sepal width, petal length and petal width. And in this first example, I'm going to plot it against species as well. So the plot function, a sim very simple plot function uh, of the iris data set, just the word iris in there. And if I run this uh, in the um, chart area, we can see that we are getting a matrix of diagrams. So let me uh, zoom in on this to get a better look at it. And so we can see that each variable is plotted against each other and forms a matrix all in one diagram. So for example, I can see that sepal length is plotted against sepal width in the second column. It's plotted against sepal length here in the third column, plotted against petal width in the fourth column, and in the fifth column, it's plotted against uh, species. So now there's a few things that uh, this diagram here are not telling us. First of all, I want to remove the, the column here in the right-hand side with species. There are only three types of species, so there's not much point in having this on this diagram here. It's not really telling us anything. And also this fourth row, I want to get rid of that. So I only want to plot the first four out of the five variables. So let's close this down and use the command with the plot function again for the iris data set. And this time, put square brackets after the iris data set and put in the sequence one colon four. So that's the sequence of one to four. There are five variables in the data set. And I just want to plot the first four. We can see that the fifth one in the console is species. So we want to omit that. So run line eight. We can see that our diagram changes. I'm going to zoom in and out again. And now a little bit clearer, we can see that each variable is plotted against e each other of itself. And we can see the trends. Uh, some trends are very clear, other trends not so clear uh, between the different variables. So any data set that you have with multiple data sets, you can create a matrix like this. Though obviously, if you have a lot of variables, you could get a very, very complicated diagram if you plot too many of them against each other. You can also, using this here, I can change this. If I only wanted to plot uh, the second, third, and fourth variables, I would just change the sequence. So on line eight, I'm ch going to change number one to a two. So this time, replot the chart. And you can only see that three variables, variable two, three, and four, are being plotted against each other. So we can also see in the plot here, we don't have any labels on it. And also we know that there are three species in this plot and we cannot distinguish those three species on any of the charts in our matrix. So let's go ahead and tidy up our plot a little bit. So I'm gonna plot again using the iris data set um, and the variables one colon to four. Then after the square bracket, I'm putting in um, a, a, a comment. I'm moving down to the next line. I want to give my chart a title, so I'm going to give it main equals, and this is just going to give it a title of the iris data set. That's my simple title, so whatever you type in there will be replicated on the chart. Um, I also want to give my, um, uh, I want to make the, the, the dots that are on the chart into solids. So at the moment you can see on the right hand side that the default is an empty circle. So using the PCH, parameter, I can change that to a solid uh, value of 21 will do so. You can experiment with this to change the shapes, whether they are full or not. So experiment, change the value of 21 to other values. And now the next bit then is the important bit, which is going to allow me to separate out the three species into three different colors on the chart. So I'm going to use the BG, which is a background function here. And I'm going to, in this function, I'm going to pass it the two pieces of information, first the color, and secondly, um, how to separate out the species. So I'm going to use the combine operator, combine function here to um, set the three colors. So I'm going to combine the first color, I'm going to call it red, comma after that, second color green, comma after that, and third color blue. So any colors you want to choose here will work. And then after this, between the uh, bracket for the C combine function and the bracket for the plot function, I'm going to put in square brackets. Now note I have not added in any commas. So I'm putting in square brackets 
and inside in the square brackets I need to separate out the three species so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called unclass to do that so unclass open and close brackets and I need to unclass it by species and I do that by referencing the species variable in the iris data set as follows so it's iris dollar sign and species okay so that uh, that line there line 13 is telling us to, to set a color uh, for three colors red green and blue and separate out uh, the um, species in this by virginica versicolor and setosa so let's go ahead now and run this function and now we can see uh, on our diagram on the right hand side we've got a much much more useful data set let me zoom in on it and we can see that our uh, data set colors are separated out by color our reds and greens are blue are showing we've got a matrix of each color of each variable against each other and we can make comparisons of these variables so any data set that you have with four or more variables uh, will be uh, you can plot a matrix as i said like this we can also use the pairs function which does exactly the same thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy my plot function code and paste it down at line 15 down here and this time instead of using the plot function I can use the pairs function and in order to illustrate how this works I'm going to remove in our studio I'm going to use the, uh, paint, the sweeping brush icon to clear all charts and so in this instance over here my code for the pairs function is identical to the code for the plot function so let me run this uh, click on run and we get the same diagram over here on the right hand side so it doesn't matter whether you use the plot function or the pairs function when you are creating a matrix like this so that's how you plot a simple matrix in R I hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention